Should I discount in order to grow sales? Have you ever seen a salesperson who's been asked when they've given a quote, look, do you think you could give it to us five or 10% cheaper? And they say yes, straight away. Well, how much do you think that actually costs? How easily have you seen salespeople cave when they've been asked if they'll give a five or a 10% discount? So they've gone through the whole sales process and then they, and then the customer says, look, I wasn't expecting to pay $100, maybe you could do it for me for $90 or, or something like that. With just a simple question, the salesperson caves and they get the deal, but they've, they've cost gross margin percentage. Well, how much do you think that actually costs? I remember I had a salesperson who worked for me and we were selling IT hardware. So computers and all sorts of servers and peripherals and all sorts of stuff like that. And I remember this salesperson wanted to discount everything. He had in his mind what something was worth, which of course was significantly lower than what the recommended retail was. And he spent all of his time discounting. I don't think we actually were selling anything at all at retail. And so one day I said, this has just got to stop. There's, we, we can't keep discounting everything. We're just giving away all of the money. And he seemed to think it was going to come back in some other magical form. So I set a blanket rule at day that we had to sell everything at recommended retail price. So if it was a cord or a phone or whatever it might be, any peripherals or any computers, like we had to work to sell it at that recommended retail price, which was pretty simple, but he thought it was the end of the world because he didn't think that he could sell at that value. And the only way he could compensate for his inadequacies as a salesperson, not positioning and getting the sale ready and doing all of the work was, was to discount. If the computer cost 1,800 or 1,850, he didn't care, the customer didn't care. It was only significantly impacting the profitability of the business. That's why you've got to have salespeople's commissions directly connected to the gross profit dollars that they earn. There's no point, there's, there's, for this person, he was remunerated, which I swore to never ever do again. He was remunerated on revenue and he, he just didn't care. So we've got to make sure that people's, salespeople are aligned with, in their remuneration with the needs of the business and that ideally when it comes to discounts, no discount can ever be given unless it's signed off by the owner of the business or a senior VP or something like that. Someone who's in, who's like one or two notches up the ladder than them. We wanna give no reason at all to provide discounts because discounts are so expensive to the business. People think, oh, it's only a 5%, it's nothing, it doesn't really matter. But discounts cost the business so much. So for this guy, he ultimately ended up leaving because he, he felt, in his heart that he couldn't sell at retail. Now there are other people that were selling at retail day in day out, but he believed that he couldn't sell at the amount that was needed to pay his wage. So if you're not, if you're a salesperson, you're not paying your wage, what are you doing? You're just an oxygen thief. You're just taking up everybody else's time and you're costing the business money. When sales drop, it feels like we need to give customers an enticement to try to get them to buy. It feels like perhaps we've got enough customers coming in the door or enough leads and, and the best way to get more of those customers to buy would be to put a sale on or to offer a discount or in a B2B environment to negotiate a discount to give them more of an incentive to buy. But how much does that really cost? 
If you want to do that, are you doing it with an, a really educated understanding of what's gonna happen if you do that? Because if sales are down and that's making you concerned and therefore you're thinking it's gonna be harder to pay the bills or to make a profit, what is the result? What happens after you have successfully put out a sale or negotiated if you want to have a sale to try to increase revenues, what is that really going to cost? What is, how much more are you going to have to sell to make up for that gross profit? Does it make sense to discount in order to grow your sales? Let's start with the definition of gross profit. So gross profit is the sales of an item minus the cost of the items that go into that item. So let's say I'm a calculator seller, I'm in calculator sales, and I'm buying the calculators at $4 and I'm selling them for $10. Therefore, there'd be like a 60% gross profit within that. I'd have 40% or $4 is cost of goods or materials, and then 60% is gross profit. So if we start selling these calculators for $8, so we're providing a 20% discount, how many more calculators do we need to sell to make up for that? Let's take a look. Let's take a look at a chart that reveals the percentage of additional sales that you need to make in order to make up for those gross profit discounts that are so costly. So let's start by looking at what is your current gross profit? Is your gross profit 10% or 20%, 25%, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50? So figure out what is the gross profit for your sales, for your item. Once you've determined that, then you can say, well, what is the discount that you'd like to give? If you'd like to give a 2%, 3%, 4%, 5%, a 10% or a 15% discount. Now this discount could be happening in a retail sense or it could be customers who are just asking you for a discount in a B2B sense of the price that you're expecting to receive in your quote. What is the discount that you're contemplating offering? Okay, so now that we know what is your current gross profit and we know what is the price cut, that's when we can go a bit further. So when we look at this chart, what we can see is if our current gross profit is 20% and we're giving a 3% price cut, we're going to have to sell 18% more. So if your gross profit is 10% and you're going to give a 2% discount, you're going to have to sell 25% more sales in total, so 25% more volume to make up for that price cut. And if it's 10% uh, and you're gonna provide a 5% price cut, it's actually 100%. So if you give a 5% discount, you're gonna have to sell twice as much in that sale just to be at the same position as if you didn't give a sales cut. If I'm gonna sell 100 of these calculators this week and my gross margin is 50%, but I decide instead to put them on sale at a 10% discount, I'm actually going to have to sell another 25%. So I'm gonna to have to sell 125 calculators just to get to that same point. So is there enough people that I can actually make those 125 sales in this quarter? Or am I gonna to have to just get better at selling? Or is the marketing not working? Discounting is really the, the tactic of last resort because if you're not going to get the same revenues from those customers, there's no point at all discounting. We, we don't, we, we don't, we should be saying, we don't do discounts or we don't discount or we should be spending more time on the, the sales process or the sales training or the marketing leads. That's where the real results come from gross profit matters because gross profit is what you get to pay the, the rest of the bills with, the rent, the electricity, the wages, all of the, the other bills. 
if you're going to discount, sure you might have more activity and you might have more sales, but what's really happening to the gross profit? So when you look at this chart, it's really quite confronting to notice the percentage that sales must increase to maintain the total gross profit. And that's what matters is the total gross profit. If you're looking to improve your sales process, don't forget to check out my online school where I walk you through all of the elements to build a sales process that will significantly increase sales conversion rate. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and check out my website. Thanks for watching. I'm not